Hi everyone, welcome back to AMET Melanoma series, Melanoma 101. I'm Melissa Wilson, physician assistant and AMET Melanoma's Ask an Expert. Today on Melanoma 101, we're gonna be talking about how BRAF testing is done. So we're not gonna get real technical in this video, um, but I did wanna share some key points about how this BRAF mutation is tested for. This is something that's extremely important to know um, for cutaneous or skin melanomas as part of your melanoma treatment plan. And so this is something that I wanted to educate you all on um, as you move through your journey. So if you remember from watching our other videos, BRAF is actually a gene that is present that encodes for a protein that ultimately results in cellular growth. And in about 50% of skin melanomas, there will be a mutation in BRAF that can be present. The most common type of mutation is BRAF V600E, but you can also have the BRAF V600K mutation as well. So how do we find out whether or not we have this BRAF mutation? This is actually because if you remember, BRAF is a gene, this is actually a DNA test. So this is something that is done through the pathology department um, that actually tests your melanoma's genetic profile to see if this mutation is present. So again, the BRAF mutation is done using cellular DNA from your melanoma. There are several methods that can be used for BRAF testing. Some of these include IHC, which is short for immunohistochemistry. This is actually a stain um, that is specific to BRAF V600E mutation. Um, so this is something that can be done a little bit more quickly um, than some of the other testing modalities, um, but it does have a little bit less specificity because it can only test for BRAF V600E presence. Um, so in folks that have the BRAF V600K mutation, doing IHC may not be uh, necessarily the end result of your BRAF mutation. So um, IHC can be done, but I will tell you that most often um, DNA assay or gene sequencing to look at the entire profile of genetic mutations in a tumor are really the methods that are seen more commonly. Um, so again, you can do a DNA assay that's testing just for the BRAF mutation, and that will tell you whether or not you have BRAF V600E, BRAF V600K, or some other type of BRAF mutation. Or, of course, tell you if you are what are called BRAF wild type, where you do not have the mutation. Um, the DNA assay will tell you that information. You can also find out that same information as part of a larger genetic sequencing that can be done. Um, the genetic sequencing also will tell you about other characteristics of your melanoma and other genes um, that may be mutated um, as part of a larger picture. Um, so it can be done by various methods. Um, it's not up to us to decide what the best, me best method is. This is something that the pathologist and sometimes um, your treating physician team will decide, you know, as part of conversations that they have. Um, but just know that there are various methods to obtain this. Um, this can be done on both primary tumors, tumors within lymph nodes, as well as metastatic deposits. Um, so, you know, this testing can be done on both primary melanomas and metastases. The other thing to keep in mind is that this can be done at any time during your melanoma journey. So it can be done at initial diagnosis. It can be done at time of metastasis. Um, what is really important is that if you have um, a cutaneous arising melanoma or a melanoma that arises from the skin, that you have conversations with your healthcare provider about doing the BRAF testing um, at some point during your melanoma journey. This is extremely important in patients that may require treatment for other, either stage three or stage four melanoma. Um, I personally always tell my patients this is information that if we have it now, then it's available later if we need it. So, you know, there's no right or wrong answer as to when this occurs, but it really is important to do prior to therapy decisions. Um, this does sometimes take several weeks to perform depending on the type of method that is used to test. Um, so this is really a conversation that you wanna start having with your healthcare provider um, fairly early. So again, various methods um, of performing BRAF testing. These are all genetic tests um, in order to determine whether your melanoma has the genetic mutation that is present. Um, and this is something that can be done on any cutaneous melanoma. 
I hope that after watching this video, you have a better understanding of how BRAF testing is done. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out. Again, I'm Melissa Wilson, and this is Melanoma 101.